VIP. Let's kick it. And listen. So I have to make a smart eyes test as our project. The uh, reason is because we've all been to events where we have our eyes tests and, and people uh, are they're easily accessed. People can get things out and uh, we want to make a secure eyes test. I mean, that's our main problem. Uh, also, there, we made some other improvements on the eyes test as far as uh, monitoring your, your temperature inside your eyes test and, and uh, security and things like that. So that was the basis for the, uh, the impeccably smart eyes test, which is what you see right here. So the main solution to our problem of an insecure eyes test was to add a light system that allowed only the users who uh, were supposed to have access to the eyes test to be able to access it. So what we did was incorporate an RFID reader with a fob. So only with the fob can you access the eyes test. Also on the lid is also located a, uh, a photoresistor which detects light when the, when the box is open and when it does not detect light, it lashes. Inside the box is a thermistor that reads the temperature and uh, that leads us to talk about the LCD screen which is incorporated on the front of the box. Here on the LCD screen uh, you see the status of the lid which is closed right now currently because the photoresistor is reading darkness. Uh, the temperature inside is read by the, the thermistor inside and there's also a, uh, a readout here that says to add ice. So the two LEDs here on the side are also indicators so when the red light is on it indicates that you need to add ice When the blue light is on it indicates that the temperature inside is within its limits. To the edge here is a, a button that operates a, a 12 volt solenoid on the side for the drain system. So instead of having a plug like typical ice chest, this works off a solenoid valve. One more feature of the high suit on the inside, you see another latch system or the remaining elements of the latch system here, uh, which is actually a fail safe in case your batteries run out and the RFID reader is unable to function. So I want to show you how that works. So if the batteries are depleted and you can't access the ice chest by using the, the fob, so we'll turn our power off here, you can access it by operating the key uh, failsafe system, which allows you to get inside. And those are the main features of the impeccably smart ice chest. Uh, the construction of the box is, is uh, made from 16 gauge aluminum uh, plating, uh, all TIG welded together and the inside is also coated with uh, to uh, with styrofoam for insulation. And the handle housing is a compartment for the batteries. So for this design, we actually worked off of 12, uh, F, uh, AA batteries, uh, just for uh, convenience sake. Actually, uh, there are other methods of, of powering the unit, but this is how we decided to go with it, and it's easily housed in the handle compartment here on the side.